Good morning, my people. Okay, so today I'm going into the garden. I'm getting ready to water it because I do this every morning. I come outside, I water the gardens you see behind me, and then I also have a raspberry, blackberry bush that I water, and a fig tree and a peach tree. So that's kind of like my daily watering routine. However, I'm also today going to be spraying my tomato plants with um, an aphid, I guess it's an aphid spray. It's basically just boiled garlic water. Um, apparently aphids do not like the smell of garlic. So of course, you know, I, I organically garden, so I don't use any chemicals. So this is actually my first kind of like treatment that I'm putting on my tomato plants. So I can't tell you if it works or not, but I can show you what I'm doing and let you know later if those aphids got the hell off my plants. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna water and then I'm gonna come back through and then spray my garlic spray, all right? All right, while I'm doing this, I also check for ripe strawberries. And some of these are getting ripe. That one's getting there, but not quite yet. But I know you see these over here. Nope, getting close. Oh yeah, look at that. I mean, the things that are coming out of my garden lately are just so beautiful. I love it. And I do have this net on here. So that little squirrels and birds don't come in here and feast on the strawberries. These probably need like at least another day maybe. Oh, what's this one? This one's hidden. Oh yeah, that one's probably ripe. So beautiful. All right, I'm actually gonna tell you how the strawberry tastes because, I mean, look at that. It's beautiful. All right. Mmm. I swear, there's nothing like a fresh strawberry. I'm totally obsessed with my garden. I can't even tell you how obsessed I am with my garden. It's so great to have, I love it. Okay, so another thing I've been doing lately is there's this sort of swarm of like little wasp nests and they don't have any eggs in them yet but I'm trying to get them down before they start laying eggs. So, oh, he's still there. Let me show you guys. So if you look up there, there's two little nests and there's a wasp on the little one closest to you. Well, closest. And I've been trying to knock these down, but I'm kind of scared. Like I knocked one down from um, a little bit to the left of where the wasp is. I knocked, well, that one's still hanging, but I've knocked that one. Um, and every morning and later in the day, I come over here, but that wasp is huddling. So I'm not really sure what to do about that wasp, but this is my stick that I was gonna knock it down with if I was able to but obviously not. So we'll have to do that another day. <sighs> Something else I'm dealing with here. Oh.
Here's some papayas that I bought. I've left them out side in the sun and they're nice, getting nice and yellow, but they're not probably ripe yet. So these are just kind of hanging out on my bench. So this is my beautiful little peach tree. Um, his name is Master Peach. Get it? <laughs> I thought that was so funny. Master Peach. But um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to water him. And I just have this sprinkler that just does like, just for a while, it'll just slowly water. And then I'll let that go for a little while. And then I will switch it over to the fig tree, which is Figgy Azalea. And this is the fig tree. She's doing good. And then down over there, there's two plants. That one's the blackberry and one's the raspberry bush. Those are little babies, so we have to water them. How's it out here, babe? <laughs> if this wind stops. Uh, yeah, get, to, get a little sweater. It'll be all right. Get a little sweater. I'm uh, all, right, all right, there we go. Now it feels fucking great. So look at how beautiful these are. I'm so obsessed. And so sometimes I'll sit out here with my coffee and our new little patio. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but we also had our siding and roofing replaced. Hey. And it looks... Beautiful. Hey, it was yellow at first, in case you don't remember. Yeah, it was yellow. Uh -huh. It was really cute, but now it's like sophisticated right. home. It has a tux on now. Yeah, it's so nice. New roof. Who dis? All right, here comes the blackberry bush right here. So cute, it's growing. I always like to check to see if there's any buds on it because I want my blackberries to start thriving. And then right here is our raspberry bush. And there actually is a cute little bud right here. She's alive. But yeah, so now I'm gonna just water them real quick with this bucket of water. All right, last but not least, I'm taking this garlic spray and we're gonna spray these tomato plants. Let's see if we can see any aphids because there's some. I know you see those little buggers. Let's see. Can you see those? Little bugs. We do not want those here. And if you see these little brown ones, Apparently you're not supposed to like kill those because they are some sort of, I don't know if it was a wasp that I read, but some sort of bug that actually like the, the egg is laid inside of the aphid. And so these brown bugs are actually dead aphids that are now taken over and being eaten from the inside out by some sort of bug that likes to eat aphids so I'm gonna leave those and I'm not gonna kill anything 
but I'm gonna spray and hopefully get these aphids off of my three little tomato plants because as you can see where they've been eating you can see the the leaves are actually starting to curl because they've been sucking all of like the juices out of them so we do not want them to do that or they're gonna kill our little tomato plants and again this is the first time I'm doing this but let's see how it goes Ooh. Be gone, aphids. Be gone. And I don't know about you, but garlic to me smells so good. So, I'm just gonna spray all these little leaves. We'll hope that they go. And of course, because this is like an organic way to treat the aphids, you have to do this every week or every couple of days so that they start associating this thing with the smell of garlic and they don't like it. <sighs> so that's that. All right, well, that's the end of my morning routine. Um, if you guys want to see more of what I do, then let me know, but that's basically kind of like my, my little routine for the morning. Um, after this, I typically will read because I am in a holistic health coaching program right now, so I have lots of reading to do. It's about a year long, so usually I will go and read for an hour or so, um, and that's what I'm going to get ready to do now. So thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye.